If you were looking at, I guess, an Avondale player, it'd be a player who's brave, a player who, who's very skillful, and a player who who loves and relishes a 1v1 situation. So our, our players, our deal will be coming out of our program as, as the ones that you want to watch, the exciting players, the exciting breed of players that bring life to games. So that's, that's what we're looking to develop. So we'll be overseeing the, the, the entire youth development at the club. I'll be overseeing from the under 8s to the under 18s. So from the foundation phase through to our youth development phase and, and professional development phase at the club. My objective is to put the club in, I guess, in a clear direction, to bring the club to a clear direction, to in a, in a clear pathway from our junior programme into our, into our senior programme. Well, the, the blueprint uh, is pretty much a syllabus for the club. It's, it's how we're going to achieve, I guess, our objectives as a club. And, and it's, it's not just, I guess, my job or it's, it's the entire coaching collective. It's how we're going to be working towards yeah, developing players for the future. So it's, it's some key principles and key objectives in there of how we think our youth program should be structured and how we're going to achieve our objectives. The long-term goal is obviously to, to get as many players as we can from our, our program in, into the senior program. To, to have a clear pathway from our program into, into a professional environment. If Avondale aren't there, then it's how can we get these players to, to Melbourne City, to Melbourne Victory, to whichever A-League clubs we can. That's our pathway, that's what we want for the juniors. We want just a clear a clear pathway, I guess. So I guess I guess you can look at it from that professional development phase. You know, Everybody looks in that 15 to 18 to have the best team. Uh, at Avondale, what we're looking for is to have those creative individuals. So we want to develop those individuals that again are going to be able to come into a game and change a game on a tape. That's what we're looking for, creative individuals to progress into our first team.